Let's summarize our lesson on electronic configuration. Electronic configuration is the distribution or sharing of electrons on different orbitals. Now, the scheme we used was proposed by Bohr and Berry. They propose that the maximum number of electrons which can be present in any shell of an atom is given by the formula 2 times n to the power 2 or 2n squared, where n is the number of shells of the the number of the shell or orbital as counted from the nucleus. Okay, so from the nucleus, we have the first shell being the K shell, the next shell being the L shell, the next shell being M, and so on. Now, in distributing electrons on an atom, the inner shell can take two electrons, but the outermost shell cannot have more than eight electrons. So once you get eight electrons, a new shell is added then you put the remainder of the electrons there. Once you get a further 8, a new shell is also added. The outermost shell is what we know as the valent shell. Valent shell. Electrons on this shell are involved in chemical reactions. When we say valency, we're talking about the combining power of an element. And then elements that are known as noble gases are unreactive. They are unreactive because they have fully filled outermost shells.